that depicts the situation for the tangent line. The red curve is the graph of the function y equals the square root of x divided by the quantity x plus 9. You can see it does pass through the point 1, comma, point 1. And the equation of the tangent line is this right here, and that's the green line using point slope. Question is, where did I get that 1 25th? Well, that came from finding the first derivative, which I have to use the quotient rule, denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is 1, over the denom all over the denominator squared. Now, at this point, we could find y prime of 1 by plugging 1 in for x. But I thought I would just take time to show how we might simplify this expression. So that first term in the numerator, I've moved, rewritten as a fraction. And I've got a complex fraction now. So to get rid of the small fraction, that's this one with the 2x to the 1 half on the denominator, multiply numerator and denominator of the big fraction by 2x to the 1 half. When I take 2x to the 1 half times the first term in the numerator, those will cancel out. I'll just get an x plus 9. When I take 2x to the 1 half, times the x to the 1 half, I get 2x. And in the denominator, I get 2 radical x, or 2x to the 1 half, times x plus 9, the quantity squared. And that numerator simplifies to negative x plus 9. Now, if I want to find y prime of 1, I'll be finding the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the original function at the point where x equals 1. So y prime of 1 equals the numerator, I get an 8. The denominator, I get 2 times 1, square root of 1. And 1 plus 9 is 10 squared is 100. 100 times 2 is 200. And that reduces to 1 25th. That's the slope of the tangent line at the point where the x coordinate is 1. Now, for the normal line, the perpendicular to the tangent line will have a slope that's the negative reciprocal of 1 25th. And it will look something like this. It will still go through the same point. It's just that the slope will be negative. 25. So the equation of the normal line, y minus f of 1, or y minus 0.1, equals negative 25 times the quantity x minus 1, point slope. And if you want to, you can distribute and get the y by itself and get slope-intercept form. There you go. Hope that helped.